Page 20, Lazy Days. This piece, you have a nice, relaxed, easygoing tempo. More of a swing type piece. So look at the right hand. I want to point out a few things. When the right hand comes in, there's a pickup at the end of the first line on page 20. You D sharp. This type of thing is common. Move the hand. There's other fingerings, but we like to use this type of fingering. It kind of goes with the feel of the piece. So we're going to move the hands around a little more to accommodate this fingering. So it's a two, then move it down, then up again. Uh, so just watch for the, those little fingering changes. On measure nine, third line, second measure, you're here. Fifth finger on the last note. You're going to come up with the hand and move it down. The pedal's going to connect it. So you'd be okay. Measure 11, look at this. You have an F sharp, C, E. It's not the most comfortable thing, but it's got to be done. Here, D sharp, and the last one is staccato. Right, so, oh. Bring out the top note if you can. That's the melody. Then we're back to the main melody again uh, up here. Now, over on page 21, on measure 19, we're starting with the three, a uh, two here, then the triplets. I recommend to start the triplets with the thumb, so it's two one. Next measure, same thing. Next measure, same thing. Now on those measure 21, watch this, that last set of triplets at the end, it's a one, two, five. I recommend you do a three, four. So you can do the two, five on the next measure. That sets it up. Just be aware of it. And you may have to practice it, but this kind of fingering really comes in handy. I haven't talked about rhythm at all. I'm kind of hoping you'll get the rhythm by now. But let's just briefly go over the rhythm here. At the beginning, when the right hand comes in, you just have the one and two and three and four and. Well, we're swinging it, so it's one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three. Two and three and four and one and two and three and one and two and if you just follow that through very slowly you'll be okay. The left hand may help out somewhat because it has a lot of quarter notes and that you know show you where the beat is. Over on page 21 I'm going to start with measure 17. Again the rhythm one and two and one and two and one and two and now if that's weird take out the ties temporarily play all the notes one and two but when you can get that put the ties back in one and two and one and two and the next measure one and two and a three and four and one and two and a three and four and one and two Four and a one and two and three and four and see that measure twenty two? One and two and three and four and again if it's weird, take out the ties temporary, play all the notes. One and two if that makes it one and two and three and four and because they're all eighth notes throughout the whole measure. When you can do that, put the tie back in. One and you can think play the note, just hang on to the previous one. One and two and three and four and the measure twenty-three triplets. One and a two and a three and four and one, two, three, four, one. So work out the rhythm carefully. In the left hand, we got this pattern going. Again, we got this interval of a tenth. And it's very common, we've had it before, where you have here and here. There's 
an octave is here, and you're just going up another third here. And that's what they're doing here. Just walking up and down, and notice the swell, they get louder and softer as it comes up. Kind of cool. For the most part, that's it. Now, over on page 21, let's take a look starting at measure 19. On the left hand, you're here. And then it's a 3 and 4 and a 1. 1 and 2 and 3. Now, fingering wise on those G's, they're saying 3 2. And I would do the triplet, I'll start with a thumb. So a 3 2 1. Again, three, two, one. At the end, the last two measures, you're here, staccato, no pedal on here, and then triplet, staccato, staccato, now pedal here, and then the last note is staccato. And the right hand comes up, and the pedal comes up, so you hear the staccato. That last note should be by itself. Pedaling wise, they're suggesting legato pedaling pretty much throughout, with a few minor exceptions. I would like to offer a alternative suggestion on that, and I'll explain why. It alters the mood. Pedal can do a lot. But when you're doing the beginning of this, you're just overlapping pedal it's just every two beats. right hand comes in. This is the mood of the right hand because of the rests. I like to hear the rests. If you legato pedal this, you erase all that. If I legato pedal this, this is what it sounds like. What it sounds like, and I got go, yeah. I suggest you pedal the first and third beats of each measure only, so the, you can connect it as best you can with the fingers. Just don't pedal the second and fourth beats. Is all. So it's it's one up, two up, one up, two up. So you're pedaling it with one, three, one, three, and you get this. And I hear the rest that way, and I prefer that. I really do. So you can experiment and decide what you like to do, but I, I like the rest. Rests are fun. Yeah. Otherwise, you can pretty much pedal it like they're showing you. I mean, the legato pedaling is fine, I just want to hear the rest. Is that so bad? At the end of this, the last line, there is a, an, in the measure 24, the last two measures, you have a forte, subito P, subito piano. All of a sudden, subito means suddenly. Just all of a sudden, you're, you're quiet. So you hear, like a little tag at the end. We're just, what happened? It's cool. Try it out and see what you think. Let's try this out slowly, very slowly. This is an easy going piece anyway, but we're going to go really, really slow because I want to check the notes and the rhythms. Got a lot of accidentals. Let's make sure we got them all. And the rhythms can get tricky. Let's make sure we got those. So, left hand, right hand, foot's ready to go. One, two, three, ready, go.
this would go more more like this.